K plus so from the 210. So, the name of the channel is Siren Tayro. I'm Misty. I'm shuffling the Santa Muerte for all signs, Aries through Pisces. My son's playing Spider Man in the other room. The rain is coming down. This is take seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know. I have to train myself to look at that dot. It just seems really weird to me. I want to look center. That's the dot. Aries through Pisces timestamps will be provided. You can watch for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. I do recommend watching for your moon sign. If that doesn't resonate, watch for your Mercury, but whatever. Floats your boat, finds your lost remote. Um, I do this. I shuffle cards full time. I am always available for private in-depth personal readings. All the information is included in each and every description box. My Patreon has been launched. Additional picket cards and astrology informational videos at the Patreon. What is a conjunction? What is a sextile? Um, does your Mars like his Venus? Whatever. I'll go more in-depth in my Patreon videos. So... Check it out. Six cards for Aries. Six cards for Aries. Bueno. That's a hell of a start. It's blurry, but that is the lovers. Oh, gotta get the glasses. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Temperance. Nine of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. My son really gets into the Spider-Man. So, You sense a lot of potential with this person and it scares the hell out of you. This could be a substantial relationship. This could be marriage. It could lead to marriage. Um, I'm trying to make myself not talk about twin flames. I just call out, oh, this could be your twin flame, your divine counterpart, when I see cards like the lovers over temperance. Because it's popular, it's forever trending. I just did a puppet show at my original YouTube channel, which has less than 200 subscribers, I Balance Press. I did a puppet show about twin flames. It was very much a joke. It was very... Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood meets SNL, or maybe South Park. I don't know. It was, it was a joke. It was a parody. But... Um, it looks like you're in deep with this person. Use whatever categories, labels you want to use. I see deep feelings. I see a strong connection that may feel spiritual to you. There could be some mental telepathy, meeting up on the astral plane. You've known this person for a while. And it could be that you're obsessing, you're thinking, you're wondering, you're hoping that this will progress. It feels like you're in a stalemate right now. It feels like it's not progressing at all and you're losing your patience and you're having these sleepless nights and you could be having anxiety over this. Um, you want the Eight of Pentacles with this person, but they're very reluctant to commit they could have trust issues. 
they probably have a lot of earth in their natal chart. If someone has a lot of earth in their natal chart, well, they're going to take their time getting to know you before they commit to something as substantial as Eight of Pentacles. My favorite relationship card, it's like I say again and again, the reason why I like the Eight of Pentacles is because it's so down to earth, it's so dirty, raw, real. It's two people who are both prioritizing the connection or relationship. There's mutuality, there's reciprocity, good, healthy, lusty, consistent sex and communication, and at the very least, you're working toward living together, sharing a home, sharing resources. So you feel like this person is dragging their heels. They could be a few years younger than you, or it could be you've had a lot more life experience than this person. You may be a single parent. They've never had kids. They've never been married. Um, but there's this erotic charge. This person really turns you on. And you feel like you could have something gratifying and substantial, but they're just, they're resisting. Please provide an energetic summation, three additional cards. Yeah, I hear you. The Ace of Cups, right when the rain got really hard. The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Swords. Part of it could be that this person feels like they have a lot of competition. They could see you on social media getting a lot of enthusiastic attention. They could feel like you have someone else. I don't know, I'm seeing trust issues. So there's something here that's really strong to have the lovers, temperance, and now the ace of cups and the knight of cups. So the feelings are there, the intentions are there. It's just a matter of, I don't know, cleaning up the communication somehow and establishing trust. That's what I have for Aries. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Gemini. What's good with you, as they say? The rain is really coming down in San Antonio. Using the Santa Muerte. If I need additional clarity, I'll go to NASA. Six cards for Gemini. Oh, hell. It's the King of Cups. King of Cups. Queen of Swords. King of Swords. The World. Nine of Cups. This may have started off as a friendship at a distance. Maybe you're in California and this person is in Australia. You're in California, they're in Australia. One example of many. Perhaps you met online. You've known this person for a while, at least a couple of years. And it's just now getting to 
the good stuff where there is emotional availability, words of love are being spoken, and you feel like this is really going to turn into something very similar to Aries. I'll clarify each row using the Santa Muerte. I have to train myself to look at that damn dot, and if it's still not clear, then I'll go to NASA or I'll get an energetic summation using NASA. Please clarify strength over King of Swords, one card. Six of Pentacles. So there is mutuality. There's respect. You're on the same page. You want the same thing. Please clarify the King of Cups over the world, one card. temperance. You're not acting too crazy. Um, it's balanced. There's a reasonable pace. You're both mature. You're pacing yourselves. You know this is worth waiting for. Please clarify the Queen of Swords over Nine of Cups. One card. Ace of Wands. You're going to get together soon. There's going to be an airport meeting. I see you going to this person's home. It could be vice versa. And the sex is going to be amazing and it's going to be romantic. So it's not just fucking. You're building something. You're working toward a future together is what I see. Please provide an energetic summation. Three additional cards. An energetic summation for Gemini. Three additional cards. Trace Moss, four, five, four. Five of Pentacles. King of Swords. Queen of Wands. You're both excited to meet... Um, it's taken so long just because you've paced yourselves and money could be an issue. But there's going to be a meeting and you're taking this relationship to the next level. That's what I'm seeing. I hope that helps. If it doesn't help at all, I am available for personal readings. All the info's in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. Hello, Leo. Here is your reading. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, six cards. Using the Santa Muerte. Little Moss. Page of Wands. The Magician. Are you the Seven of Wands? Yes, you are the Seven of Wands. And the Toth deck, Alistair Crowley's Toth deck, Seven of Wands is Mars and Leo. Ten of Cups. Eight of Wands, I call that the Sex card. Seven of Pentacles. This won't be everyone's story. It's not possible. But this could be your story. You recently ended a long-term relationship. Some of you could be going through a divorce. And you're talking to someone and the focus is on sex right now. Maybe eventually this will deepen, this will turn into something substantial, something emotional, something spiritual, but right now you're just having fun. 
you're not trying to get into a rebound relationship is what I'm seeing. A spark has been lit. You're having fun. Please clarify page of wands over 10 of cups, one card. star. You met someone online. It could be social media. I feel like the flame went out a long time ago in this relationship that's ending. Again, it could be a marriage. You stayed in it as long as you did because of a child or children. Please clarify the magician over eight of wands, one card. of sorts. So this person you're talking to, I don't see much in common. I don't see in-depth conversations. The focus is very much on flirting and sexual attraction. There could be some sexting going on. Please clarify seven of wands over seven of pentacles. One card. I put on makeup and it makes my nose itch. Three of Swords. You're still healing from the aftermath of this relationship that has ended. Um, you're very guarded. So you're just talking to this person because there is a strong sexual attraction. They could have some Aquarius in their chart opposite your Leo. There is a strong attraction, but you're in no way, shape, or form trying to get serious anytime soon. It's like I've said a lot lately in personal readings. I feel like tarot is most useful when you're looking at six months prior, six months previous, six months in the past, and six months into the future. Beyond six months, you're pretty much grasping at straws. So I don't see you getting too close to this person in the foreseeable future. I don't see this being romantic or deeply felt. You're just having fun, and there's nothing wrong with that. Please provide an energetic summation for Leo, three additional cards. Ace of Hearts, Ace of Cups. Seven of Hearts, Seven of Cups. Nine of Hearts, Nine of Cups. So all the water, all the romance comes out in these NASA cards. Maybe eventually the two of you will get close and you'll co-create this amazing relationship where there's emotional availability. But right now, I get that you're just having fun. So that's what I have for Leo. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Hello, Libra. The rain is coming down in San Antonio. I'm shuffling the Santa Marte deck. Six cards for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Mercury. Yippee Taye, the sex card. I'm always second guessing myself, and I have failing eyesight. That is Eight of Wands, the sex card. Yes, Two of Swords. Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, I have to train myself to look at that little dot, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hanged Man. You could be talking to someone who has 
Sagittarius and Pisces in their chart. They could have Sun and Sagittarius, Pisces rising, Moon and Sagittarius, or Moon and Aries. I don't know, but I'm seeing fire and water, obviously. The Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius, the Hangman is Pisces. Um, this is very similar to Leo's reading. Right now, the two of you are just having fun. You're flirting, sexting maybe. You're getting to know each other. There's a strong sexual attraction. I'm not really seeing in-depth conversations. Um, it's very unlikely this is going to turn into a substantial, committed relationship anytime soon. I'm seeing resistance. I see two people who are just having fun. Please clarify Eight of Wands over Queen of Cups, one card. Seven of Swords, right? I'm looking at Venus, Venus de Milo. Right, Venus? Yeah. Seven of Swords. I feel like this person you're talking to is keeping their options open. You could both be keeping your options open. You're not taking this too seriously. Please clarify two of swords over the Wheel of Fortune one card. The moon, Pisces. Um, I don't see the two of you having much in common. I'm not seeing a solid foundation to this connection. There's just a really strong sexual attraction and there's no shame in that. Please clarify the Ten of Cups over the Hanged Man one card. Four of Swords. You're giving each other a lot of space. There could be days, weeks when you don't talk. When you do talk, it's not really in depth. It's about the sex. You could have a fetish in common. Maybe you're into BDSM. You're the sub or the dom, vice versa. But the emphasis in these cards is on sex. Please provide an energetic summation for Libra. Three cards. Yeah, Two of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. I don't see either one of you being emotionally involved. You're just having a good time. I'm not seeing consistent communication. I'm not seeing in-depth, substantial communication. You probably don't have much in common. Um other than this strong sexual attraction. That's what I have for Libra. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. Sagittarius, here we go. Six cards for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. October, mid-month, 2021. March, 2022. Whenever you watch this, it could resonate with you. El Diablo, the devil. What are you? The Three of Swords, Tres de Espadas. The Hanged Man, El Colgado. Four of Swords, Cuatro de Espadas. The Sex Card, Eight of Wands, Ocho de Bastos. Santa Muerte, 
stuff. Okay. Similar to Libra. Similar to Leo. I see two people who are sexting a lot. There's a strong sexual attraction. There's a lot of lust. You know what each other looks like naked. Is that grammatically correct? Probably not. You've seen all this stuff. Maybe you've done the video fucking, I don't know, I never had that experience, but I guess it's common. I don't know, FaceTime. I said that like in three videos. Facebook. FaceTime, yeah. WhatsApp, I don't know all the technology. I'm a Luddite born in 73, but maybe you've done some video stuff. You've definitely done some sexting. You've seen pictures. But, face up, what's time? There is some pain here. I'm not sure what the pain is about. Unless you enjoy the pain, unless you're a masochist or you're into BDSM. Uh, could be third party. That's always a possibility. But there's a lot of blockage. There's a lot of distance, not just geographical distance, but emotional, spiritual distance. Um, Pisces over Scorpio, the hanged man over death. It looks like this is going to fizzle out eventually because there's not really any glue keeping the two of you together. It's sex, it's lust, but I don't see things in common. I don't see a stable, solid foundation. Please clarify the devil over four of swords, one card. Ten of Wands. It would take a lot of work, a lot of energy to get this off the ground, to go from kinky sexual connection to something substantial and emotionally gratifying, a real relationship. It would take a lot of work, a lot of effort. And it could be that's what it is. It's a fun distraction, a fun diversion for the two of you. You've got your careers, you've got your lives, you've got very busy schedules, and this is just a fun diversion, distraction. Please clarify Three of Swords over Eight of Wands, one card. Eight of Cups. Yeah, I see you walking away from this eventually because there's not enough here to really work with. Please clarify the hanged man over death. One card. Nine of swords. It could be an addiction. But eventually it looks like it's going to fade away, it's going to fizzle out. I don't see this going on much longer. That's what I have. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Hello Aquarius, here is your reading. Using the Santa Muerte. Six cards for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords, The World, Four of Pentacles, right? Let's see, Four of Pentacles, King of Wands, 
judgment. You could be dealing with someone who has Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo in their chart. I'll call it an astro combo for fun. Why the hell not? This person could be a Leo, Sagittarius rising, Moon and Taurus. It's one possibility. Um, there's a strong attachment, but I'm not really seeing emotional fulfillment. I'm seeing a lot of blockage. It could be that the two of you are just not in the best place right now. The communication has dried up. Uh, this person could be really stressed. They could be working two or three jobs. They could have a really demanding career. They could be an airline pilot or an orthopedic surgeon. Um, district attorney. I don't know. They have a demanding career or they have a few jobs and they're just, they're drained. They're depleted. Um, and you're thinking that you've lost this person. You may be right. Please clarify. Ten of Wands over four of Pentacles. One card. The Empress. This could be third party or multiple party. They could be in a really intense entanglement with the mother of their children. They could be hammering out the details of a very exhaustive Divorce, a divorce that's been dragging out for a while, hammering out the details of joint custody of a child or children, young children. And so between this entanglement, this relationship, and all that that entails and their job, they don't have much left for you is what I'm getting. Please clarify Nine of Swords over King of Wands, one card. Seven of Cups. You could have this person on a pedestal. There could be some projection. It could be you're putting way too much emphasis on this relationship and you're neglecting your self-care, you're neglecting your life, your other relationships, your responsibilities. Please clarify the world over judgment, one card. Ten of Swords. This could be ending in the next few weeks. Weeks, months. Um, I don't see you getting any satisfaction or support from this relationship. Please provide an energetic summation. Three cards for Aquarius. Nine of Wands. You feel drained. You feel depleted. Nine of Wands. You could be wondering if this person just wanted sex and they didn't really value you or respect you. They didn't really want a full relationship. They just wanted something sexual. Six of Cups. If this is ending, I see you really struggling with this. You're still very attached to this person. There are romantic feelings. Um, if that's correct, if that resonates at all, all I would tell you is to really 
pour the cups all over yourself. Indulge in some much needed self-care. Take care of yourself first and foremost. That's what I have for Aquarius. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Hello, Taurus. Here is your reading using the Santa Muerte Tarot deck. Six cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. The rain is still coming down, San Antonio. I love the rain at night. Uno mas. It's a beautiful damn start. Ten of Cups. The Tower. Six of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Page of Wands. I see a relationship that's working because you're both putting in the work. You're both committed to this. I see a deepening. It could be that you've gone from casual sex, a sexual connection, friends with benefits, a situationship to something a lot more serious. You're moving towards something a lot more serious. You were waiting. You were hoping that this person would catch feelings and it looks like they have. I'm seeing a lot of potential here for a committed, this is driving me crazy, a committed, deeply gratifying relationship. My God, mad respect for drag queens. I could not do this for any length of time. It would drive me batshit crazy, crazier than I already am. Please clarify Ten of Cups over Seven of Pentacles, one card. The Moon. You didn't have clarity. You were in the dark. You were confused. Does this person want me? Are they feeling me? Is it more than sex? Now you know. It's more than sex. Please clarify the tower over ten of wands, one card. Yep. King of wands, staying power. In it for the long haul. This could lead to marriage. Ten of Cups was the first card. That's pretty strong. Please clarify Six of Swords over Page of Wands. One card. Five of Pentacles. I had second thoughts at the start. I said to myself, hold on to your heart. Now I know the woman that you are. You're wonderful so far, and it's more than I hoped for. Billy Joel is a Taurus. You had your doubts, your insecurities, your uncertainty, but now you're realizing they're feeling you as much as you're feeling them. I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to draw more cards and put any bats in the attic. I'll leave it like this. This is perfect. This is pristine. If this has not resonated at all, I am always available for private in-depth personal readings. All the info is included in each and every description box. That's what I have for Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.
Hello Cancer, here is your reading. I'm using the Santham Red Day Tarot. Six cards for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Mercury. The rain is still falling in San Antonio, Texas. Knight of Cups. You must be the Eight of Swords. You are the Eight of Swords. The Knight of Cups is riding toward the Eight of Swords with mucho trepidation. King of Cups. So we have two signifiers, the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups, separated by the Eight of Swords. That is significant. Queen of Swords. Damn, another signifier, the Queen of Pentacles. The Empress. This won't be everyone's story. That's impossible. A lot of people have cancer somewhere in their chart. Um, I'm always available for private in-depth personal readings. All the info is in the description box. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a third party, possibly a multiple party situation, meaning you're in a relationship, your person's in a relationship, it's complicated, you're together for X, Y, Z, they're together for X, Y, Z, status quo, kids, real estate, it's complicated. Um, I'll have to get clarifiers, this is just, this is crazy, this is chaotic. But what I'm getting before I even go to clarify with these two cup cards, these two cup signifiers, the Knight of Cups, King of Cups, sandwiching the Eight of Swords, is that even though it's complicated as hell, it's a telenovela. Even though it's dramatic, it's complicated, it hurts, you're bonded. You're both feeling this. You can't, neither one of you can walk away from this easily. You're entrenched. Please clarify the Knight of Cups over the Queen of Swords one card. Seven of Swords. I can hear you issuing this person an ultimatum. Maybe you've even blocked them on social media. Maybe you've said, look, you've got a choice to make. I'm not gonna be on standby. I'm not your side chick. I'm not your side person. Playing hardball. But if you're in a committed relationship as well, how does that work? Because what I'm getting is that neither one of you are free to really seriously pursue this relationship. Please clarify Eight of Swords over Queen of Pentacles. One card. Seven of Pentacles. It's like you're playing a waiting game with this person. You're just waiting to see how serious they are about this relationship. I feel like the ball is in this person's court. Please clarify the King of Cups over the Empress one card. Are. 
you could be watching this person's social media and you're waiting to see what's going to happen with their relationship. I don't ever recommend that. I don't recommend watching social media for clues. Um, if you and this person cannot communicate in a direct manner, you don't have much to work with here. If there's a lot of Facebook stalking or um, Instagram stalking, I don't know, but no clear, direct communication, that's problematic. I'm just seeing a big mess. Please provide an energetic summation for Cancer, three additional cards. Eight of Swords. Complicated as fuck, but you find it impossible to walk away from this. You both feel like you can't walk away from this. Six of Pentacles. I do see mutuality and reciprocity. You're both feeling this hell. King of Wands. For the foreseeable future, I see a lot of problems to work out. I see a lot of... Um, blocks, a lot of obstacles. The communication definitely needs to be cleared up. That's what I have for Cancer. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. Go. Here is your reading using the Santa Marte Tarot. Six cards for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. Uno Mas. Bueno. The Emperor, Big King Daddy. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Ten of Swords. Is that Five of Cups? No, it's Four of Cups. Cuatro de Copas. Ace of Cups. You feel a strong spiritual connection to this person. Use whatever labels, categories you want. You could see this person as a twin flame, as a divine counterpart, as a soulmate. You feel the strong connection. but I'm not seeing decent communication. I'm not seeing respect. I'm not seeing this person taking your feelings into consideration. This person's coming across as a very controlling, narcissistic asshole. Someone who is very much in their ego and they could be tossing you the occasional crumb. This looks abusive to me. I'm talking about emotional abuse, psychological abuse, mind games, the mind fuck. They come at you really hard, like they really want to get something started, then they retreat, they pull back. They charge ahead, they pull back. Game playing. This person has the emotional maturity of a 12 year old and that's being generous. They can't decide what they want. They aren't prioritizing this connection. But you feel the love. You feel connected. You'll have to work that out. At some point, you'll have to decide that you love yourself more. Please clarify the Emperor over Ten of Swords, one card. Ten of Wands. Is it really worth the work, the ass ache, the anxiety? 
these bad feelings. I'm just feeling all this density, um, low vibration. Is it really worth all of that? Please clarify Ace of Pentacles over Four of Cups, one of the biggest red flags in the deck. I've made a video about this card. About this card. Please clarify Ace of Pentacles over Four of Cups, one card. You have it in your head, this person is your ideal, Nine of Cups. You put them on a pedestal. You've invested a lot emotionally in this connection. I am seeing a connection. I'm not seeing a relationship. With a relationship, there is some measure of mutuality, reciprocity. You send a text, they read the text, they respond, they text you. It's not one person who always initiates communication. You take turns. It's, it's an even flow. It's, it's balanced. It's organic. It's natural. It's not forced. It's not one person jumping through hoops of fire, auditioning, constantly auditioning for the other person. That's not how it works. Please clarify two of swords over ace of cups. One card. The world. You've invested in this. And you're not feeling stable. You're not feeling like you're in your power. Why? Because you've given all your power away to this asshole. That's what I'm getting for Virgo. If that does not resonate at all, I am always available for private in-depth personal readings. All the information is included in each and every description box. That's what I have for Virgo. Thanks for watching. Hello, Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and our Mercury. I'm using the Santa Muerte tarot deck. The rain stopped. Uno mas. Bueno. Ay, ay, ay. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Strength, Eight of Wands, what? Six of Cups, Ten of Swords. Ace of Wands, it hurts. It hurts like hell. But you have no choice. That's not true. There's always a choice. Okay. You either do the healthy thing, the sane thing, the high vibration thing, and move away from this connection that's not serving you. It's, it's not going anywhere. You do that or you sit and you wait for this person to decide on you. You wait for this person to stop being ambivalent. You wait for this person to show up. This makeup and hair is driving me crazy. Um, The Eight of Cups is not just about walking away from something. It's walking towards something. I associate Eight of Cups with the North Node. The North Node in your natal chart, that's your soul's purpose for this lifetime. I don't care where anyone's North Node is. It's my very strong belief that it's never a good idea to wait around for someone to decide on you. It's always best to decide on yourself, prioritize yourself, keep your dignity, your self-respect. 
because I don't see this person giving you much. Um, it's like I've said again and again at my channel and with clients all the time. I try to go past the labels. I don't feel like the labels serve any purpose whatsoever. Soulmates, divine counterparts, twin flames. You've invested emotionally in this connection. Use whatever labels or categories you want. You've invested. You're not getting much back. You've put in the work, the energy, the effort. And this person has just shown up for the sex. That's what I'm seeing. They could have Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, but I'm seeing Leo because we have a strength card. That's a Leo card. They could have a lot of fire in their natal chart. One way that you could walk away from this and just wipe the dirt from your hands is to pour yourself into some kind of creative project. Well, that's how you get into a high vibration. Is finding something that sets your soul on fire. So we're coming up on uh, November. I've decided that I'm going to do NaNoWriMo or NaNoWriMo uh, this year. I did it in 2005. I wrote my first novel, Nova's Gone Potty, in one month. So... I'm always reading, I'm always studying, I'm always um, creating content, creating art, writing books, because that's what I have. I don't have a romantic sexual relationship to pour myself into, and I'm not going to wait for something half ass I'm not going to wait for someone um, to just toss the occasional breadcrumb. So if you're in something like that, where this person contacts you every couple of months, and when they contact you, it's sexual, and there's not really any substance, and there's no emotional fulfillment, I would strongly suggest that you find something to dedicate your energy to because the wands are not just sex. They're also creativity. It can be music, art, writing, whatever. But I don't see how it's healthy for you to stay in this. Please clarify eight of cups over six of cups, one card. The devil. The devil is Capricorn, ruled by Saturn. Saturn is the lord of karma. And you can talk about karmic contracts. Are you really being served by staying in this? It feels heavy. It feels dense. It feels like masochism, looking at these cards. Please clarify strength over... Ten of Swords. I'm tired of putting my glasses on. Please clarify strength over Ten of Swords. One card. I think it's Seven of Wands. It is. It's Seven of Wands. Yeah. And Alistair Crowley's Toth deck, Seven of Wands, is Mars and Leo. Maybe you and this person have really good Mars-Venus. Maybe you have the conjunction, which is the hottest, the conjunction or the opposition. And someone made a comment on, I think it was my latest pick a card. Um, I don't know what a conjunction is. Could you please use layman's terms? So the videos that I've made at this channel on astrology the astrology informational videos, they don't get any views. So I'm going to devote my Patreon to in-depth astrology videos and tarot tutorials. This channel is pretty much focused on the Zodiac readings and the pick -a cards. That's what gets the views. And I'm very interested in getting to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's a very lofty O. So anyway, um, 
Mars, Venus conjunct is white hot. The opposition is white hot. But you have to have something else in your synastry beyond Mars, Venus to make it worth the effort. The focus in these cards is on sexual attraction. Please clarify Eight of Wands over Ace of Wands, one card. Two of Cups. I think it's delusional not singling you out. This applies to anyone. I think it's delusional to think because there's a strong sexual attraction, there's a lot of sexting, there's a lot of sexual interest, that that means someone is your twin flame or your divine counterpart or your soulmate. You have to have something beyond the sexual attraction. Um, maybe you stayed in this as long as you have because you believed on some level that there would be emotional fulfillment, emotional rapport eventually. Or maybe you had this at one time, but I don't see you being fulfilled lately. Janet Jackson, what have you done for me lately? I don't see you being satisfied. I don't see this being healthy. So if it resonates at all, I would suggest that you try to detach and pour your energy into something that's going to pay off. That's what I have for Scorpio. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Hello Capricorn, here is your reading using the Santa Muerte Tarot. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and our Mercury. Six cards for Capricorn. Uno Mas. Bueno. Justice. Judgment. The moon. That top row is all Mage Arcana. Libra, Sagittarius, Pisces. Seven of Pentacles. No. Three of Pentacles. Tres de Oros. Knight of Cups. Four of Cups. I mean, right away looking at these cards, I see legal trouble, a lawsuit, probation, something like that. But in these readings, I tend to focus on romantic sexual relationships. I am always available for personal, private, in-depth readings, all the info's in the description box. And although I say categorically I'm not going to do any medical or legal readings. I have done legal readings for clients before. So it just it's a case-by-case -case basis. Um, focusing on romance and sex. Okay. This person isn't giving you anything to work with. This... This person is not really showing up in the 3D, as they say. And I don't know. I mean, me personally, I like for relationships to work in the 3D. Dreams are great, but you have to wake up eventually. So when I say 3D, I mean you're communicating, you're talking on the phone, if you're old school, if you're new school, I guess you're WhatsApping, you're FaceTiming, you're Skyping, you're sexting, I don't know. There's consistent communication. There's respect. You go to the movies together. You go bowling together. You take road trips to Marfa together. The sex is good. It's consistent. That's how it goes in the 3D, ideally. The sex is good for both of you. You both have orgasms. Um, you could feel a strong 5D connection to this person. Maybe you dream of this person often. Maybe you meet up on the astral plane and have 
the best sex of your lives astrally. But in the waking mundane world, the world of Walmart and HEB, that's a Texas grocery store, the world of Costco, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, the world of bowling alleys and the rent is due and the electric bill and la da 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 And sex, you can feel tangible sex. There's sweat, there's cum, the whole nine yards. In the 3D, in the waking mundane world, I don't see this working. I don't see both people showing up and going mono a mono. Um, one of the biggest red flags in the deck is just, it's a lack of interest. It's, it's low energy. A lack of enthusiasm. Maybe you're losing interest in this person because they're not showing up. Please clarify justice over three of pentacles, one card. King of pentacles. Now this is someone who shows up and they value the relationship. They're investing in the relationship. That's lacking here. King of Pentacles is all about the 3D. That's missing here. You're the King of Pentacles. I don't know what the hell the person you're dealing with is. Maybe they have stuff in Pisces and Sagittarius and Libra. That could be their astral combo. Maybe they have Sun and Libra, Sagittarius, Rising, Moon, and Pisces. I don't know. Please clarify judgment over the Knight of Cups. One card. Queen of Cups. There's no gravitas. There's no emotional involvement. I'm seeing something very silly and insubstantial. Please clarify the moon over four of cups, one card. The lovers. Maybe it was really hot at one time and you were making plans to meet in person and really work on this relationship. But something changed. One or both of you lost interest and you thought, you know, it's not going to work because we don't have enough in common. I've been seeing that for a lot of these signs in this reading. Please provide an energetic summation for Capricorn, three additional cards. Ten of Swords. This is the end, beautiful friend. This is the end, my only friend. The end. Jim Morrison, The Doors. It hurts to set you free, but you'll never follow me. Ace of Hearts, Ace of Cups. We'll always have Paris. We'll always have Marfa. We'll always have Santa Cruz, whatever. You may always feel some kind of connection to this person, but it looks like you may be loving them from a safe distance. Ace of Pentacles. You're going to move on. You're going to um, find a relationship you can really sink your teeth into, that you can put your heart and soul into. This is not it. So that's what I have for Capricorn. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Hello, Pisces. Santa Muerte. Six cards for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury.
There you are. The Hanged Man. Elical Gadol. That is a Pisces card. Ace of Swords. Nine of Cups. Three of Cups. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. Okay. I was going to deliver some harsh news, but it changed. The horses changed midstream. I mean, to have two signifiers together like that and to have all these cup cards, actually, except for the Ace of Swords, this is all cups. Well, the Hanged Man is Pisces. It's all water. So having the Knight of Cups next to the Queen of Cups, I'm seeing a relationship and I'm seeing mutuality. I'm seeing reciprocity. That's really strong to have the Knight of Cups and Queen of Cups together and the Knight of Cups over the Queen of Cups. It's like I say a lot at my channel and with clients, whenever the Ace of Swords shows up, you can rely on this information. It's correct. It's valid. The Blazing Sword of Truth. The general disclaimer always applies. This is a collective reading for a vast unseen collective. I am always available for private in-depth personal readings, which are done on the webcam as unlisted videos, all the info's in the description box, blah, 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 blah. But this is going to resonate with someone. I'm seeing a relationship that may have started off casual. Friends with benefits, situationship, booty call. It has deepened, it's turned into something it's gratifying for both of you. There could be a little bit of an age gap, five years or more. But you're both feeling the fuck out of this. That's good. Please clarify the hanged man over three of cups, one card. Here comes the sun. The Beatles, the most positive card in the deck. Sunshine of your love, cream. Son, Ramstein. This is good. This is very high vibration. Um, I see two people who are giddy in love. You're in that infatuation phase that's so glorious. It's so good while it lasts. Please clarify Ace of Swords over Knight of Cups, one card. Huh. Is that Four of Wands? It damn sure is. Marriage. You could be working toward marriage. Please clarify Knight of Cups over Queen of Cups, one card. Oh, come on now. Please clarify Nine of Cups over Queen of Cups, one card. Page of Cups. There could be a pregnancy. If there's a pregnancy, I'm seeing a baby girl. So pregnancy and marriage, it's very rare. I can't remember ever saying that in one of these Zodiac readings, but I'm seeing a lot of good stuff. I'm seeing a lot of energy, a lot of love for Pisces. That's what I have. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching.